My name is Gabriel Egan and I'm Professor of Shakespeare Studies here at De Montfort University and also the Director of the Centre for Textual Studies. Everybody knows that Shakespeare wrote a number of plays, but actually we don't know exactly how many. We want to get a better sense of how these extraordinary works have come down to us. So the purpose of this kind of research is the scholarly endeavour for its own right, but also to give people a better Shakespeare. We're looking at a writer who was working before the copyright laws were enacted and um, what we now call, might call information but maybe ideas is a better word were circulating in a less regulated kind of a way so Shakespeare's earliest uh, plays in print were published without his name on the title page. We've continued investigating the texts to try and find parts of the Shakespeare canon that in fact might not be by Shakespeare but by other writers who worked with him on his plays. We now have a better sense of how dramatists in this period worked together and we get more of a sociable Shakespeare emerging from this kind of study. We, we find a man who was willing to acknowledge that there were things he couldn't do as well as other writers could do that. It hasn't um, decreased my appreciation of Shakespeare one bit but it's made it very interesting to see about the collaboration of, um, of other authors of, of his time. Uh, we're much more open to the idea that Shakespeare worked with his colleagues and we see a greater number of collaboratively written plays than people saw in the past. These days, most of the important work is actually being done by computational analysis. It turns out that each writer has an habitual style of writing that we can measure because we can have machines now count everything in the text. Um, one of the things that is exceptional about Gabriel Egan's work is that he has a very solid sense of statistics, of numbers, of information. Since the 1970s we've had the texts of Shakespeare in digital form and since the 1990s we've had the texts of all other writings from the period in digital form and this allows us to do things that we could not do before we had computerized text. It's really important uh, to know uh, that it's been written by Shakespeare since uh, Shakespeare's name and also uh, his fame globally it's really uh, effective on not only on British people but also on the peoples around the world. You can tap into that interest in, in, in him as a writer the um, I suppose the initial mystery of what we call genius um, that fascinates people and the problem then is how do you actually relate that to anything that you can imagine as an ordinary human being. So I really think the idea is to build upon the platform that we create because there's still much that we can learn about Shakespeare's text if we could only be ingenious enough to think of new ways to examine it.